Ooh, welcome back, gamers. It's your duo, Isabeep and... Vibin, or the Willmeister. <laughs> now, maybe the Willmeister. <laughs> Changing it every day. We're back, and today we're going to be discussing the CDOM recall. Right, so for this video, we, uh, we're using my account, and funnily enough, I actually pulled CDOM. It was before the 10 free summons, but I got her for Galaxy Bookmarks. What, what about you? I also got her in Galaxy just just recently too. I think I haven't even um, level 50'd her yet. See, so yeah, as you can see on screen, you don't need any awakening, uh, no awakening stars, no mola, and even if you do, you get refunded all of it. Because if I if I were to press recall, it would show uh, exactly what I'm getting back. I use penguins to get her to 50, so I'm getting that back. The gold. We're gonna go over what options you you make consider if you're recalling yours because i know it's a big decision for all of you but i kind of put the list down but uh uh from what i see in the community and what's what's in pvp right now that's strong the top five we're going to be choosing from is is uh from characters that had the most versatility i feel like in terms of all types of content because to me when you're choosing a hero i mean besides their looks and their aesthetics and all that that you that you love how how much is this character going to help you in, t in types of content and so we're going to narrow it down to five right so to just quickly go over her skills I mean, she's definitely one of the most powerful and popular single target damage deals out there but just to go over it quickly pretty much so the reason why cdom is a very aggressive unit people will say is because she can manipulate her own cr with crits and then after that you know usually mages would put you know the 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 infamous Taga Hells, because they want the Soul Burn. And with Seedom Soul Burn, pretty much she can one shot almost any unit in the game, barring like, you know, 25k knights. 25k HP knights and over. So, very high damage, and can even clear Abyss Floor 100. But even through all those reasons, even, even when she has I lines like, I'm so excited! Like, <laughs> the power of before, she, before she, like, yeah. Kabukami hides her face with with uh with her Nick Seed energy, okay? Like it's it's very I really love her design, honestly. Like, who doesn't? But I think for me I'm gonna recall and I'm gonna do it here, like on video. Oh, okay. Does it let you choose right away? I'm gonna we're gonna find out once I press this. Oh, you've never recalled before. No. Okay. No. Yeah, so let's find out together. Uh found decision, my only CDOM, but I think it has to be done. I'm Are you sorry. sure, bro? Are you sure? This is this is it. You're oh. gonna say goodbye to C Dom. Are you sure? Yeah, she'll come back to me eventually. I mean, she can't leave forever. I mean, <laughs> doesn't that mean right, it's I'm just I'm just trying to make you <laughs> yeah. see how how uh, dedicated you are for this. No, recall. you're you're, you're kind of tempting me, but you know, for the I have to do video, it. I have to do it. Let's go. All right. So seems like yeah, you just get a list. Well, um, you should recall her for herself. <laughs> I, She's on the list. Oh wow, she really is. What? Okay, I guess if you want to. Oh, maybe if you want to just like, like turn back. Like, wait, wait, wait. I want to think about my decision. And you. Oh, you, just, you get all your stuff back though. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I. I I'd oh yeah, yeah. So. Like if you, you regretted it, you're like, ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> all right. As you can see, we got all of the ML four stars here as the lineup, and I think you know in interest of making this video as short and succinct as possible we're um you'll be able to see all of them but we're only gonna go over the top five we're gonna go from bottom, bottom, bottom up, up bottom, bottoms up guys so we're gonna go with number five first and which uh, our number five is I, I think i think it's best for us to just bunch both of these together acid and a coli you know as deadpool says you can't have assassin without the two asses so you got two of them Acid ass coli. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so yeah, uh, they pretty much serve like a similar role, honestly. So that's why I feel like it's just best to group these two together. And when I think of moonlights, typically people think of uh, PvP because that's pretty much what they're designed for. I mean, you've got some um, incredible RGB heroes, even in uh, four stars. But 
moonlights because they don't suffer any elemental advantages you don't really have to worry about missing they're just generally better for pvp so as we're picking some of these because just consider are they good in pvp that's the biggest question and and if they're if they're also good in pve then that means they're pretty strong overall like i feel like definitely their value goes up all right that so. makes sense so yeah anyway so a a coli and acid back on topic um they're both speed contesters so anyone who's not a fan of f10e the cerises out there you could use these two heroes to try and fight them the only problem just consider this the reason why they're probably at the bottom of the list guiding light I mean, you know how powerful Guiding Light is, right? Is yeah, that Ranger um, stealth <laughs> artifact. Yeah, because at first I'm like, oh, you know, it's like a 50-50 basically during the battle if they get stealth. But then I'm like, wait, but they always start the battle with stealth. So that means even if a Sid or a Coley takes the turn in They're PvP... Okay, and so they're both uh, single attack yeah. users. Okay, all right. And as you know, with the stealth, you need that AOE to knock them out. So that mm -hmm. is one of the issues with the, the meta, especially with all the landies right now. Yeah, and even the Cerise is also a guiding light. So right. it, it's it's tough. It's more tough for the asses, but they're still very, 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 very good heroes, and they can they can one shot any squishy in the game. And yeah. yeah. So let's mm -hmm. go on to our number four pick, which is sinful angelica i mean jesus look at her she looks amazing i love her look so much that's the first thing that pops up into my head oh yeah definitely she she honestly looks like an mo5 like her pose is just very uh i don't know it's just very menacing yeah it's a very menacing, menacing powerful but at the same time she's carrying like a bunny right but the bunny it's looks like dead contrast. too at the same time so Wait, that's a real bunny is that a doll it's a doll. So aesthetics aside, um, uh, the reason why I would put her at top five is because of the fact that she has this unique mechanic with S3. I believe the only character in the game, correct me if I'm wrong, because there's many characters with extinction, but hers is more of like a prevent revive. And the only way to do it though is she needs to be immortal. So once she's immortal, that's basically when she gets the party started. So I'd say you still want to build her fast, but she's not going to be turned turn uh turn one contester um but to deal with all those rels may chloe's arby's she's an option like it's not extinction but as long as she's alive and she can keep herself alive with the mortal she'll be able to to shut down those second lives i mean right yeah i mean play? i'm i have an arby i'm an arby abuser for sure i bring him everywhere and i fought a team with a sinful angie and a cerise in there and obviously sinful angie did her s3 went into immortality and she actually outsped me so mm -hmm. that must have been some really good gear she outsped me and basically gave the capability of all her team members to um kill me and put that cannot revive so arby boom gone mm -hmm. um t Surin i had on my team boom gone and even though i didn't have a revive on her i was still pretty salty that it said cannot revive when she died i was like why can't she <laughs> but it was because of sinful angie oh my gosh guys we forgot t Siren at number three she's amazing and secretly an ml5 in my opinion we'll just wedge her in here but we'll post the details on the screen two spot we've got none other than the champ and i mean when it comes to debuffs i think he really is like yeah, I mean, he, he pretty much, when you when you see him there and you're drafting any sort of debuff team with a new Ida out or Solitaria, any of these debuff heavy waifus that Smoggy just keeps pumping out, they get a factory of all these, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, people love getting locked down, getting stunned, getting slept, yeah, let's just, let's just pump them out pump them out like yeah i mean <laughs> that that um edda moonlight just came out right away and i was just like what about what about ludwig and what about people who have been there forever where is their yeah, where is Aaron their moonlight Charles version from yeah from the og episode one where's bunny k ron please <laughs> need to make a petition guys please, please i beg you <laughs> so yeah so pretty much i'd say the best way like one of the best ways to say it is as long as debuffs are present in pvp this guy will never go away like, because the fact that he can transfer almost anything 
besides stun sleep and blind you need to keep that in mind because although he he counterattacks and and uh, lands those debuffs Re reverse uno uno card you guys know about that he just, he just reverses the situation on you but just only on certain debuffs but still the fact that he can do that yeah and him built yeah. on him built on counter he hits pretty hard yeah, he can be he can be he can be built very tanky. He has built-in life steal, and you can add life steal set on top of that for for shits and giggles. Why not? And then he could defense break with skill three, um, and he can even solo asthmatic, even PVE too. He's amazing. So he's got a lot of things going for him, honestly. So because of the debuff heavy heavy scene we have right now in PVP, I would definitely consider Champion Zerato like pretty prevalent PVP. So that's why he definitely earns the number two spot in our book. Now for number one, if you if you guys have been following any sorts of high level RTA, you already know what's coming, guys. This piece of shit <laughs> right here, General Purges. Like, first of all, he's not even husbando even. Like, he's not even second rate. He's has fur. <laughs> so I'm kind of pissed he's up here, honestly. He's a like, he's a Purgus. He's a kitty. He's a kitty cat. Even though people in the E7 community say doggo, I don't. Well, it says understand. Purgus. It says Purgus. So I'm guessing yeah. he's probably like, like a mountain cat. A lion. Mountain lion. A tiger. Lion. But tigers are spotted, I think. Clint. Tigers don't have spots. They have stripes. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, no cheetahs have spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. One of those really muscular felines. Honestly, the number one reason for me would be Spearhead. His passive, like he just being attacked. It's not just CR boost to himself, it's to all allies, because Sh ML Charlotte is an ML5, also a light warrior, but she only pushes herself up w when uh, she gets attacked. So this Selfish. Guy, <laughs> so this guy can apply it to this whole team, and if, you also, if, you, if any of you have also seen optimal wyvern runs, this is the guy. Like, Sinful Angie actually has a spot in that too, of being a wyvern tank, because she'd be immortal, but... Again, this passive is the main reason why he's ridiculous. Like, like all the AOE characters, you know, you're an RB abuser. And <laughs> so I've, I've got an SSB who will would definitely be punished every time she hits that AOE mm -hmm. defense break passive. And oh, and I forgot to mention all this is passive alone. He he also brings attack buff, so he even ups his team's damage too. So number one, General Purgus. I mean, we went over all of them right there. As we said, General Purgus, Cesarado, Sinful Angelica, Assassin Sid, and Assassin Coli stand at number five. Mm -hmm. After all of that, what is Vibrant gonna pick? Or now Will Meister, perhaps. Okay. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I think I said before, 11 out of 10 aesthetics and gameplay and I love like demon or yokai type of uh, anime vibe. So you know what? I'm gonna have to do it instead of Sidon. Receive. Uh, do you want to recall this hero? Wait, I press recall. Yes, really? successful. Now let's just wrap it up with simple.